I'm going to do the Saturday Night Live thing. Say, ladies and gentlemen, Emily Roth. Thank you. Yes, sir, those uh, patent leather shoes are mighty swell. They must have cost a pretty dollar. I bet you had to put a few more hours in at your job, but your kids at home just want to hang out with their father. Whoa, with your kids at home just want to hang out. Now tell me, son, is that flat screen TV? What? you really need is it worth leaving your girl alone at home for oh, uh oh seems to me watching a black and white tv would be more fun with her instead of a color all alone but instead of a color tv all alone well i'm gonna i'm gonna move to an island with all my friends and we'll build a roof over our heads to keep us out of the rain and we'll pay just enough food to eat and we'll spend all day by the sea yeah and we'll we'll be happy society's got us so skewed on where our values lie these days working in half that extra dime instead of spending quality time with your family chickadee black daddy home and sisters, but I guess it's up to you what you choose to do. But I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to an island with all my friends and we'll build our roof over our head to keep us out of the rain and we'll plan just enough food to eat and we'll be happy now I have some serious news to bring to your attention I need to alert you to the fact that eventually you're going to die and all the cool goodies that you buy you'll have to leave behind and the only thing that will have matter you let pass you by but it's not too late to dust up your shoes, reevaluate what's important to you. But I guess it's up to you what you choose to do. But I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to an island with all my friends in. We'll build a roof over our head to keep us out of the rain, and we'll plan just enough food. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I don't have a very long talk to say. I just basically want to get up here and say the um, ideology of songwriting that I've come up with. I've been songwriting and performing for the past eight years. I'm 23. Um, I'm from Tampa Bay. I'm from Bradenton, Florida, about an hour south. And um, so this is what I came up with. The true job of a musician. We were not given our talents to be famous. We were not given our talents to be rich. We were not given our talents to be on the covers of magazines and be on TV. If one is truly to fulfill the gifts of accepting your call, we are here to give. These things that people so often strive for are about receiving. 
And some people strive for these self-gratifying things. They get successful in achieving them. But if you really want to respond to your call, my call as a musician, you do not dream of being made beautiful and glamorous in photo shoots or becoming worshipped. You dream of successfully making people feel. Bringing them comfort and solace. Bringing them hope, joy, and love. Many people in this world go days, weeks, even months without the slightest touch of another human being, retreating to their home after work to pass the time only to get up to do it all over again. But if a musician truly puts love into the music for people to feel encouragement and understanding, it could help ease a load. And even if only just for a moment, if you can do this, you will bring these people peace. Some people might feel that they have been wronged or have wronged another and have constant sharp pains of regret and guilt. Whenever they think about it, if a musician is honest about themselves and has courage to share their own experiences, no matter how not so flattering, these people find comfort in knowing that they are not the only ones who have been hurt or have hurt another and can begin on the healing path of forgiveness. This is very hard to accomplish, but if you can do this, it'll make all the difference in someone's life. Express yourself in your music or whatever you do. Empty your grieves onto the page. Let your memories and emotions drive your hand, and you will come up with the most perfect music. Music's sole purpose is to pull emotion from the chest, to document the happenings of life. When conjoining meaningful words with true emotion behind it, the music will say everything you want it to, because it did not come for you, it came from your soul. Take yourself out of the equation in whatever you do, and you will be amazing. In my case, you will be a true musician. Thank you. The last song is kind of what I was talking about. I put myself into the situation and um, I was honest about how I feel and hopefully others can, well my goal was to make it be so other people can relate to it. This one is called Grand. They say, girl, who do you think you are? You're not even all that good at guitar. How do you think you match up to the ones who proudly profess this as their profession? Look at our people on the TV screen. Did you catch that? Yeah, they're the real thing. Start trying to kid yourself. It's time to grow up, time to get real. To get real. Wow. These forces come from inside my head and it's a daily struggle to override them but if we gave in to what they said would anyone amount to anything grand we'll get ready cuz people at home ask me what I'm doing up at school what I'm gonna do when I get through I smile and say well, I've always dreamed of being a rock star someday. The silence screams at me before they say, oh, that's nice, and walk away. These conversations don't help anything. They only make me question. 
on more intensely. Wow. These voices come from inside my head, and it's a daily struggle to override them. But if we give in to what they said, would anyone amount to anything? These voices come from inside our heads, and it's a daily struggle to override them. But if we give in to what they said, would anyone amount to anything grand? Anything grand, anything grand, anything. Thank you. Emily Roth, thank you.